Hello students, I'm Teacher Berlin and welcome to our mathematics class. Our lesson for today is about expressing fraction form to decimal form and vice versa. To express fraction form to decimal form, we will simply divide the numerator by the denominator. In a fraction, the number above is what we call the numerator and the number below is what we call the denominator. Now let's have an example. For example, 3 fourths. So, as what I've said a while ago, for us to be able to convert fraction to decimal form, we will just divide the numerator divided by the denominator. In the given 3 fourth, the numerator is 3 and the denominator is 4. So, we will just divide 3 divided by 4. 3 divided by 4. As you can see, our dividend, which is the number inside this um, division, is less than our divisor. So, we have to make our dividend greater than the divisor for us to be able to divide these numbers. So, we will just add a point here and a zero. Then, we will also add point here above just above the point now we already have 30 as our dividend and 4 as our divisor so we can already divide this one 30 divided by 4 how many 4 are there in 30 yes you're right there are 7 4 in 30. So 30 divided by 4 is equal to 7. Now after dividing, we will now multiply the quotient to the divisor which is 4. So 7 times 4 is equal to 28. After multiplying, now subtract the dividend minus our product, which is 28. So 30 minus 28 is equal to 2. Now we will just repeat the process. So 2 divided by 4. As you can see, 2 here is less than 4. So we will just add 0 and then bring this one down to make 2 20 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5 and then just repeat the cycle or the process 5 times 4 is equal to 20 now 20 minus 20 is 0 now that ends our division our answer is 0 0.75. Therefore, 3 fourth, if you are going to convert this one into decimal point, the answer is 75. Now, let's have another example. For example, 1 half. The same process, we will divide the numerator divided by the denominator. So our numerator is 1 divided by our denominator which is 2. Now as you can see, 1 is less than 2. So the same process as what we have done a while ago, we will just add point here and a 0 to make our dividend greater than our divisor. 
Now, we already have 10 as the dividend and 2 as our divisor. Now, we can already divide this one. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. We have 5 twos in 10. Now, after dividing, we will now multiply the quotient, which is 5, times our divisor, which is 2. So, 5 times 2 gives us 10. Now, after multiplying, we will now subtract this one. 10 minus 10 gives us 0. Therefore, the conversion of the fraction 1 half to decimal form is equal to 0.5 or 0 0.5. Another example, one-third. So, for us to be able to convert this one into decimal form, we will divide the numerator divided by the denominator. In this case, our numerator is 1 and our denominator is 3. So, 1 divided by 3. As you can see, our numerator is less than our denominator so we cannot divide this one we have to add point here and a zero to make our numerator or our dividend greater than our denominator so if we add that point here we will also add point above it now we have 10 divided by 3 so 10 divided by 3 gives us 3 because there are three threes in 10 now, after dividing, we will now multiply the quotient, which is 3, times our divisor, which is also 3. So, 3 times 3 gives us 9. Now, we will subtract this one. 10 minus 9 gives us 1. Now, we will add 0 here. To make our dividend greater than our divisor again. So 10 divided by 3 is 3. Now 3 times 3 is 9. 10 minus 9 is 1. So we will add again 0. 10 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. As you can see, we do not have an end. We keep on repeating numbers here. So we have 0 0.333. If you happen to encounter like this one, you don't have to finish the division. You can already stop by this time. So how are you going to write the answer? You can write the answer. You can just get the repeating number. The repeating number is 3, so we can have 0.3. Now, after getting the number that keeps on repeating, we can just add bar at the top of the number. This indicates that this number keeps on repeating and repeating. So, therefore, one third is equal to 0.3 with a bar above. Now, this time, let's try to use an improper fraction to convert into decimal form. So, impro improper fraction is in the form when the numerator is greater than the denominator. So, for example, 5 halves. As you can see, our numerator is greater than our denominator. So, the same process for us to be able to convert this one into decimal form, we will just divide the numerator divided by the denominator. 5 divided by 2. This one is different from our previous examples because from our previous examples, we have dividend less than our divisor in this time our dividend is greater than our divisor we don't need to add point and a zero 
we can already divide this one directly. 5 divided by 2 gives us 2. Because there are 2 twos in 5. Now, after dividing, we will now multiply the quotient times the divisor, which is 2. 2 times 2 gives us 4. After multiplying, we will now subtract this 2. 5 minus 4 gives us 1. Our dividend is less than our divisor. So, this time, we have to add point here and a zero so when we add that point here we will also add point above the point now bring down zero now we have 10 so 10 divided by 2 can already be done so how many 2 are there in 10 very good there are 5 2's in 10 so, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now, let's multiply. 5 times 2 gives us 10. And 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. Therefore, 5 halves converted to decimal form gives 2.5. Now let's have another example for improper fraction. Let's say 3 halves. Now we will convert this one into decimal form. The same process, divide the numerator divided by the denominator. Now divide 3 divided by 2 gives us 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. So, since we already have a dividend less than our divisor, so we will just add point here and a 0. So, bring down 0. 10 divided by 2 gives us 5. 5 times 2 gives us 10, 10 minus 10 is 0. So therefore, if we will convert 3 halves to decimal form, the answer is 1.5. Now this time, we will learn on how to convert decimal to fraction. Let's say... 0 0.2 0 0.2 is read as 2 tenths therefore we'll have 2 over 10 2 tenths but to make it easier for you in my case I see at the number of digits after the decimal point and that's the number of zeros I will follow here is our decimal point and this is the digit after the decimal point which is 2 there is only one digit after the decimal point so therefore there is only one zero that we will follow so 2 over 10 because 10 has only one zero in this given the fraction form of 0 0.2 is 2 over 10 but as you can see this is not yet the simplified form of the fraction because this can still be simplified. Now we will look for the numbers divisible by both the numerator and denominator. The numerator is 2 and the denominator is 10. So what do you think are the numbers divisible by these numbers or by these digits? 3 can we divide 2 divided by 3? Of course not. 10 divided by 3. Yes, maybe you can divide them, but we will not end up with whole number. So it cannot be. How about 2? Let's try. 
2 divided by 2 and 10 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 gives us 1 and 10 divided by 2 gives us 5. So therefore, the simplified form of this one is 1 over 5. Can we still simplify 1 fifth? Of course, not anymore. So therefore, the fraction form of this decimal point or decimal form is 1 over 5 or 1 fifth. Another example is 0 0.15 or read as 15 hundredths. Therefore, we'll have 15 over 100, 15 hundredths. Or you can just look at the numbers after the decimal point. Here is the decimal point. There are two numbers after that one, so we'll have two zeros. We'll use 100 because 100 has two zeros. 15 over 100 can still be simplified. 15 is divisible by 5, so with 100. So we can divide both numerator and denominator by 5. 15 divided by 5 gives us... 3 and 100 divided by 5 gives us 20. 3 and 20 cannot be simplified, so therefore the final answer is 3 over 20. Therefore, the fraction form of 0 0.15 or 15 hundredths is equal to 3 over 20. Now let's try to convert non-terminating repeating decimal. Let's say 0 0.3 with a bar above. This indicates that the number below this bar keeps on repeating. This is a repeating number. Now, a while ago, in the terminating decimal, we use denominators divisible by 10. Now, in this case, we will use 9 as denominators, but it's up with how many repeating numbers we have. Now, in this example, we only have one repeating number, which is 3. So, therefore, we will just use 1, 9. 3 over 9. This fraction can still be simplified because... Both the numerator and denominator are divisible by 3. So we can divide the numerator and denominator by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Therefore, the simplified form is 1 third. And of course, the fraction form of this decimal form is 1 third. Another example, 0 0.18 with a bar. Now, in this case, we have two repeating digits. Therefore, we will use two nines as denominator. We will get 18. We will get the repeating digits, which is 18, over... Two nines because we have two repeating digits. We can still simplify these numbers 18 and 99. 18 and 99 divisible by 3, right? So we can just divide both 18 and 99 by 3. 18 divided by 3 and 99 divided by 3. 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. 99 divided by 3 is equal to 33. So we have 6 over 33. Can we still simplify 6 over 33? Yes, we can still simplify this one. 
36 and 33 are still divisible by 3. So we can still divide 3, 6, and 33 by 3. Six divided by three and thirty-three divided by three. <clears throat> Six divided by three is two, and thirty-three divided by three is eleven. Two over eleven. Can we still simplify this one? Do we still have numbers that's divisible by both the numerator and denominator? Right, these numbers are already simplified. So therefore, the fraction form of 0 0.18 is equal to 2 over 11. <clears throat>